Hello, my beautiful friend. How are you today? I am Nikki Drake from Crazy Simple Truth Ministries. If we have not met yet, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to show you exactly how you can take one scripture and write a prayer very simply back to God so you can make a prayer journal. I have a prayer journal that I have created in a Bible that's specifically for Bible art. And then I take a scripture and write a prayer back to God. Then I got this new a prayerful planner for 2020 and it has a daily scripture on it. And so I have been taking this prayer journal box and doing the same thing that I am doing with my prayer journal Bible, except my prayer journal Bible is only when I feel the Holy Spirit lead me to a certain verse. Um, I do that. This I'm trying to do on a daily basis with the daily um, scripture. So here's the tip that I want to give you for sure. First is if you don't have a prayerful planner or you don't have a journaling Bible that you can use to do a prayer journal, just get a notebook. Any notebook will work. Um, download an app with a uh, scripture of the day, take that scripture and use these tips that I'm going to give you right now to write a prayer in it back to God. So first, I'm going to read you today's scripture. Today is, well, today's Sunday. You're going to see this on Sunday, but today is actually Friday, January 10th. And so my verse for today says, I wait patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. Psalm 40, verse 1. And so I'm going to take one of my pens. See, this is my uh, box that the prayerful planner came in, and it has all these fun planning things in here that I have. I might grab a little sticker out of here because this one's cute. It just happened to pop out at me. Um, so in that case, I might use that and my purple for fun, for fun. It's always fun to make them pretty if you can. If you can't, it's okay. So this sticker is printed on clear sticker paper. So I will use that and put it over the side of my prayer after I'm done. So what we are going to do, we already have the date. If you don't, write the date at the top of your journal. I waited patiently for the Lord. So I'm going to say Father God or Lord or um, however you want to address him for that day. Um, I'm going to say Father God. That tends to be what I say a lot. That isn't the right or wrong way. Father God. Comma. And then I always start this part with thank you. Now, if you are praying a prayer to God, you need to start the first part with adoration. So you need to be adoring him. You need to be saying, God, you are so mighty and so great. You need to be make sure that you're doing that. But in this little written prayer here, I'm just going to focus on this verse. And so we are thanking him for what he does for us. And so that is a form of adoration. But there are so many other ways that you can adore God in your prayers that um, you will have to watch for another video of how I explain that or look in my playlists um, under Bible study methods. And in some of those, I talk about how um, the order of prayer should happen. Okay. So Father God, and I, and I almost always start with thank you. So thank you. And then I'm going to go back up to the verse. Thank you. That if I wait patiently for you, thank you. That if I wait, I'm going to switch colors just for fun, patiently for you, because it said, whoops, because it said, I wait patiently for the Lord. So thank you, Lord, that if I wait patiently for you, it says he turned to me, you, comma, that you will turn to me. So see how I'm praying this, the scripture back to God that you will turn to me. And then what does it say? And he, and he heard my cry um, that you will turn to me. And I'm just going to, I'm going to switch this out right now because I'm going to turn it now into sometimes I forget because I want to admit my sin based on this. So I could have went on to say, thank you that you will turn to me and hear my cry. I could have said that, but the Holy Spirit sort of prompted me when I read the heard my cry. Um, I kind of felt the Holy Spirit tug on me and say, hey, wait, you need to apologize because you you don't believe that he hears your cry. And so I that's why I kind of switched gears here. And so you kind of have to be in tune with the Holy Spirit for that. Don't worry if you don't feel that. 
the more you read and study the word of God, the more you will fear the, feel the Holy Spirit prompting you in the right direction. So don't worry if you don't just continue going on where you would say that will, t- that you will turn to me and hear my cry. That's all you need to do. So I turned my gears and I said, sometimes I forget that you do hear my cries and you care now this part I'm adding and you care so much about me okay and I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this help me wait patiently for you please help me wait patiently for you. And then sometimes I'll just write like, I love you. I'll just write, amen. I'll write in Jesus name. I don't have a lot of room here, so I'm just going to write, I love you. Amen. Um, I typically, when I pray, I pray in Jesus name because Jesus commanded us to do that. Um, but I think it's totally okay if you just say amen. God knows our hearts. And I'm just going in and making this cute just for fun because the prayerful planner is, de- is made, it's designed to be a keepsake so that you can keep them in that nice little box um, forever and be able to go back in and see how God worked in your life based on your prayers, which I think is really fun and cool. So I'm going to, just for fun, draw a little swooshy around this. You don't have to do this either. Who I'm messy. I'm standing up so that the microphone can detect what I'm saying because I have a cold. So I want to make sure you guys can hear me. Okay, and then this is just a little, I had clear sticker paper that I was um, suggesting on my website, which is listed below my Bible study supplies. But when you printed um, dark ink on it, brown or black, it was smearing. And so I took it down. But what you can do is look for clear sticker paper. Um, I think you could probably get it at Walmart and office supply store. You can look on Amazon. These are made specifically for labels, like package labels. And maybe that's why the black ink didn't dry correctly. Um, They work great for the colored ink and they were a really good price. So if you do want to know where I found them, will you leave me a message um, down below in the, in the um, comments? And I, I will look it up for you and get you a link. So this is going to be something I'm just going to put right over it right there. See, isn't that pretty? And then I can go up to this one and I'm going to use the opposite colored pen just for fun and draw a little, little squiggly cloud lines around this. So what I want to know in the comments is, do you have a prayer journal? And if you do, what do you use? What do you use? Do you use a Bible? Do you use a planner? Do you use a notebook? Do you have a really special notebook? How long have you been prayer journaling? Tell me all about it, because I believe that um, as women of the word that we are, that we can learn so much from each other. And so we need to encourage each other and um, have conversations down in the comment section with each other to encourage one another. So you are beautiful. God loves you. I hope that this was helpful. I will be doing more videos like this. If you give it a thumbs up, I'll know that you want to see more of these because sometimes this process needs to be shown more than once or twice to really understand it. And so I definitely can do more of these. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And I We'll see you later. Bye. You're beautiful. God loves you. Oh, hey, and there's a discount link for the prayerful planner if you want it in the description box. And um, also there is, like I said, a link to my Bible study supplies and Bible studies. Okay, bye.